gathered here today for the Holy Communion of the 46th episode of Camping Buddies. Um, they were going to show me a bunch of TikTok shit that I'm not very familiar with, so we are going to be talking about... Well, the first thing that caught my eye first was girl dinner and boy dinner. Don't know what the fuck... <laughs> no, wait, this is a bad intro because I'm supposed to mention all your names, right? You don't have to. Uh, we're on episode hey, forty six. If, if, if no one knows our names and this is like the first episode they're watching, then that's pretty fucked up. But like, I, I'd, I'd say that you heard that guys get right fucked, now. get fucked. Yeah, you know. Gonna... Um, Big fans. Miles with the hair. Um, Miles with the Hector hair. Hector with the hat. Alyssa with the longer hair. Alyssa with, me with the, the other fucking. Hat. I was gonna say something inappropriate, <laughs> but I decided not. <laughs> um boy and girl dinner how do they eat right so i saw like a little tiktok about boy dinner which is made a lot of sense boy dinner at least in the tiktok was literally just ground beef like someone just cooked ground beef and just like grabbed a, hand, a fistful of it and just started like sl- like sliding it down and like i've always been one to like pick up little pebbles and just like it's boy dinner. Girl dinner is like a slice of bread. No. What is girl, girl dinner? Girl dinner is like a charcuterie board. It's like snacks. Snacks and shit. Right, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl dinner is like snacks leading into a meal. Like, always includes like a little bit of cheese. You know, some what crackers. What the fuck are you guys talking Lally. about? It's like actual dinner, like what you eat for dinner by yourself. Yeah, I mean, it, it's like nice. a stereotype. It's like a stereotype. Like girls have like nothing but snacks for dinner, like all the it's time. True. And guys Sometimes. just have the most. Like they'll have like one thing and just like make it their life. Like actually, I had a boy dinner the other night. I got imitation crab, just melted some butter and ate that shit. Oh my. That's a boy dinner. <laughs> What's imitation oh. crab? Is it tofu? No, no, I always thought it was, but it was not. It's um, oh, it's it's pollock mixed with real crab, which just makes it fill it out, I guess. But if there's real mm-hmm. crab, why not just put real crab? But that's just me. But whatever. real crab's pricey, right? I guess so. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. So okay. I just I literally just got imitation crab, melted some butter, and had at it. That's a pretty low balanced dinner. <laughs> Where's your food groups? I don't even know. Both of y'all. Never healthy. <laughs> I don't know, man. I was. I got my. Butter. Learn how to cook some pasta, motherfuckers. Boys having Skyrim dinner and girls are just a little. <laughs> that's that's literally what it is. Yeah. Guys yeah. will have like five different meats with nothing else, and girls will have hot Cheetos and like in Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's girl lunch. Okay. Oh, that's girl, that's girl lunch, ulcers. Right? Girl <laughs> ulcers. <laughs> that's why we always have stomach problems. Dude, dead ass. <laughs> that's like a, a topic of in and of itself as well, though. Like, if you guys ever, I, I've never met. Uh, this is. I don't know how. I hope this doesn't sound like sexist. But like every I girl know. I know, like always has like the most outrageous fucking like medical problems like and i have not and i literally have nothing about myself that i know about at the very least like and like well you can roll out periods but But yeah no periods are yeah that's natural whatever that's a pretty serious problem well yeah i mean there's no cure for it america being expensive and no one wanting to go to the hospital to figure out what's wrong well i i guess and complain I I guess, but, like, there's, like, a whole bunch of, like, stuff that you guys did figure out where it's, like, it just keeps piling on. Like, Ash is allergic to fucking ever. It is so much easier to name things that Ash isn't allergic to than what she is allergic to. It sounds like a good case of Carl Weezer. It's, like, how often do you exercise? How often people actually really exercise? Because I exercise, like fairly re like fairly decent you know amount of times for the week and i'm not really having any problems 
I think people eating shit and people fucking sitting doing nothing really has the most problems. Well, see, like that's me though. <laughs> I I have wor- I'm good. I'm starting to work out like once a week on Wednesdays and stuff like that. But I wasn't doing that before. And like I don't have the healthiest of lifestyle. I'm sitting in front of this PC pretty much constantly. Uh, if not, I'm always at work, whatever. But that's just like normal. I'm saying like guys in general, like even Hector. Hector's like in the middle. Hector's like in the middle. He's like he's healthy. He's got a he's got a little bit of a tush, and he and he's not like he's like really exercising caution when it comes to like some foods, but like he's also kind of i don't know like he gets salads but he could just get a bowl is what i'm trying to say but not all three of us don't have problems Alyssa could probably name like five things that is wrong with her i got issues what do you got what's what's like what what do you have diagnosed diagnosed nothing but my stomach has been like horrible the past year or two is it like because of cheese like are you just lactose I don't know. I think like I think I had an ulcer or something and then it kind of led into me being lactose maybe. I don't know. Still nothing's diagnosed. I'm just kind of winging it. <laughs> well even like Well again I don't want to sound sexist but like even like mental health why is every person like every girl I know just so fucked up? Like I'm <laughs> fucked up but they are <laughs> fucked up. Like BPD, B- B- BPD, bipolar, motherfucking schizophrenia. Like I think it's just the girls in Washington, dude. No, it's not Portland and Washington, right. bro. <laughs> Destiny was like bipolar is all fuck, and obviously she had crazy a fucked up childhood too. Well, yeah, like I had a fucked up fucking situation too. I'm not saying like, oh, like since I was fine, then everyone should be. That, that's You're not, not fine. Okay, well, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, like Hector. He's just like the gold standard. Sorry about this. He. <laughs> he's like he's like the, <laughs> he's like the perfect like little middleman and like. He doesn't have anything that's like he has like depressive episodes every now and then. He gets stressed. He gets stressed out just like anybody else would. But he's never like, I have depression. I have ADHD. I'm autistic. I have diabetes. He loves fishing. Oh, that makes sense. It's very therapeutic. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. So there's something wrong with him. Sorry, yeah. I'm on the other line. I'm fishing. No, here. that's that's what helps. <laughs> All these people with all these conditions need to start fishing, then they'll be okay. They need to start something that's bigger than themselves, like a hobby or a job. Hobbies are great. Pokemon cards. Hobbies are great. Like mental conditions don't really have hobbies. Yeah, they're just fucking in a corner, just like <sighs> my ADHD is gonna. You no, know, it's too much for them. They need to start fishing. See, like. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Get fishing, bitches. Dude, we actually. No one cares just... about your ADHD. No one cares. We actually yeah, start fishing. Get we, on that line and fish. We actually just solved the problem, just like worldwide. Now, like every mental mental institution is gonna like get a fishing line for like everybody. We're gonna get a cease and desist from all these medical companies. <laughs> what are you doing? What? Don't tell them. You're gonna go extinct. Yeah. <laughs> Take no, it's just catch and release. Oh, okay. <laughs> COVID, go fishing. <laughs> you got cancer go like fuck fish. yourself why go fish I, hmm? I don't even like fish why would i want to catch them it's an adrenaline rush yeah <laughs> it is did you remember when we went camping and like me and hector like were telling you how like when i caught a fish we we're like stupid bitch stupid bitch getting caught stupid bitch that yeah was i was napping and honk ran over holding a fucking fish it's like look tell me you're proud tell me you're proud <laughs> there was um uh a couple that was sitting behind us i do you remember that honk the couple Where? that was sitting behind us when we when we caught the fish and that Asked oh, us what kind of oh. fucking fish we caught like seven times after we replied all seven times. <laughs> all seven yep. times. 
So dumb. So dumb. Um, look, what was where was I even going with all? God, we got so far off there. We um, started with girl and boy dinner. And then we went and to mental health and now we're on fishing. Yeah, we should yeah. pace ourselves. We have like 16 more topics. I, t- I told you we don't have to get through all this. I love, I love uh, tangents like this, though. Um, but yeah, no, like, dead ass. Like, every time... I don't know if, like... Because, like, okay, I, I've definitely brought this up before. And uh, Ash's answer to it was that, like, doctors don't take women as seriously or something something like that i don't really know what the explanation is I, I, it's weird because like people can say like they have all these different things and like it's obviously they would need to show proof that it's diagnosed but like otherwise they're just saying shit but on top of that it's like why do you think you have so many goddamn things wrong with you i i'm not saying that i'm a perfect per- i am not a perfect person and like even just today, like my arm was hurting really bad, and like it was it was doing like the thing where like it was like it felt like it was asleep, even while I was like moving it, and it just like hurt, and I hate that. That doesn't happen all the time, and I'm not like in my head, I'm not like oh shit, I have I have fucking cancer right now, holy fuck, like no, it's it's it's, it's just my arm hurts. Who cares? I just feel like um... some people take it to extremes. I think it's to justify how bad they're doing, maybe. If I have to theorize on one thing, it's probably like, well, it's an outlet for you to say like, oh, well, I'm shitty because I'm bipolar. And that's just like, okay, said and done, fix. And it's not fixing your problems. You're just perpetuating a bad behavior. But you're um, kind of like excusing it. Yeah, you're excusing it. Not saying that bipolarism is like, fucking evil it's just it's got to be solved it's got to be issued by you and a professional you got to get that situated and you got to formulate into society i feel like you can absolutely theorize as to what's wrong with you but like just to say that's exactly what it is is ignorant in my opinion like get it diagnosed and like if someone that is close to you needs to know that information like prove that it's diagnosed. Don't just be saying like, "Oh, I'm bipolar for sh-. like I'm bipolar for sure." Like don't, don't be doing that. Like as a teenager, when I was going through therapy, I was like, "I want to get tested for bipolarism," and then my dad was like, "You're just looking for a fucking outlet. Or you're looking for something that you want to say that, oh, it's an excuse." Like what you were saying before is just an excuse, and I was like, "You're right." <laughs> so, it, like it it it's a real thing for sure. It's just that like. Not everybody is bipolar. Like bipolar is just the example. It's like lately, like it's actually been like a trend to just like say you're autistic. Like that's been the whole yeah. like trend. Like <laughs> you're not actually fucking autistic, but some people are starting to think they're actually fucking autistic, and it's like yeah, TikTok isn't helping with that. Everyone is saying, oh, if you do this, 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 you're autistic. If you do this, 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 you have ADHD depression all that and i'm like oh damn that makes sense all the time like yeah. i'm one of the fucking followers <laughs> wow yeah. that teenage girl is right about my bipolarism yeah, yeah exactly i i, I don't want to go on fucking tiktok dude it's just a cesspool of dumbasses <laughs> okay it there like i said there's is a cesspool of dumbasses but every now and then you find that holy grail i we find information we find like TikTok is just like a wealth of like a million things. Most of it dumb, but some of it's pretty solid. I say you gotta get yourself on the right side. I mean, it's like fucking iFunny. You're gonna find fucking political shit on there every now and then. No, iFunny is pure shit and garbage. I'll admit that, and I get no benefits out of doing it. I think the only benefit, not real benefit, but the thing with actual weight is sometimes they'll leak documents of like government files, and it's like, uh, okay, but. Other than that, they're just being sexist or racist or homophobic. Yeah, yeah. We just get Timu ads. Timu curve only ninety five dollars or ninety five percent off. The stupid AI voice. <laughs> yeah, don't download the Timu app. Jeez. I have. Yeah, you know what you'll get from Timo. Guess what you'll get from Timu? You get Fit Vipers instead of Pit Vipers. 
You can make that a P. I try. Well, I tried looking into it, but it's very distinctly different from the F and the P. Mm. So you bought glasses off of Timu. I did. I wanted Pit Vipers, and they were like (laughs) ten bucks. I was like, cool. I got fucking fit fit vipers. Bro, what was was the shipping time like? Oh, I got it for like, I got like a week after. That's not bad. I kind of look like a a real celeb when I put them on. Dude, you look like PC principal. Wow, you look like you fly a helicopter. No, he he. Oh, I'm sticking with it now. Uh, he looks like a fucking coach, uh, like a football game. It's like chewing gum, like on the sidelines. Like, that's funny. I feel like Madonna when I wear these. <laughs> I feel like Madonna. Lady Gaga, a little bit. Lady Gaga. Yeah, Lady Gaga. Yeah. I'm Give just a twirl. Never... <laughs> <laughs> like bottom line, like I just feel like I, I don't I don't know. Like I feel like. And again, not trying to be sexist, women are like, like so much more like involved with their health all around than guys ever are. And like, and and like, you never know. So like, here's another thing. When you're, when someone is diagnosed with something is when they show the signs of it as well, which is super weird. Like, my mom went in uh, for diagnosis, was told this. All of a sudden, she's in a fucking wheelchair. Like, she was totally fine before that, and now she's in a wheelchair. You know what I mean? Oh, like Gypsy Rose. Mom's like, it's attention. It's not, like, attention. It's, like, it's it's just, like, a weird thing. Like, it, it's, it's, it's just, like, if I was diagnosed... Like if if a doctor told me I'm losing uh, hearing in this ear, and I didn't notice that until they told me that, all of a sudden I'm going deaf. You walk into a barbershop enough times, you're gonna get a haircut. You're gonna if you're digging for shit, you're gonna find <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Ellie, what the fuck was it? <laughs> He's absolutely right. You know what I mean? You're a goddamn genius. I've never heard that analogy in my life. What the fuck? You walk into a barber shop enough understand. times, you'll get a haircut. Dude, this Why guy's are from you... the Renaissance. <laughs> this guy's from the fucking Renaissance. <laughs> like, it just, it just, it keeps spiraling back to what we said before. It's like, if you feel you're fine, you're fine. Go to work, clean your room. Be productive. Yeah. If you just sit and sag like with your thoughts long enough, you're gonna speculate a bunch of shit. Hector, you are frozen for me. Oh, Hector is frozen. Oh, there he is. He and froze. He's back. You're good. I'm okay. You're okay. good. Um, fuck. Okay. I don't even know where to go from there. Uh, we started out with boy and girl. Next topic. Dinner. Yeah. Um. Current movie trends. I would like to talk about that. Sure. Well, <laughs> <laughs> who's got him? <laughs> who's got um, him? <laughs> so, what is a current movie that we have all seen that is fairly relevant? Uh, Barbie Heimer. Um, Blue Beetle, Flash, fucking. Um... Transformers, Fast and the Furious. Uh, the trend. So the trend that I was going to bring up is that like theaters are like for every single movie, theaters are doing like a promotional popcorn bucket for like almost every movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is fine. I I don't know if they did one for Barbie. I feel like they might have. They if they did one for a the D and D movie they did it for Barbie. True, they did, and it started with D and D too, which is kind of funny. It started with D and D, and then it went. Um, well, there was the Transformers one. There was Guardians of the Galaxy. There was Spider Verse. Uh, there was um, ba, 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 Blue Beetle. I think even the Flash probably had one. 
Yeah, speaking of, has anyone seen Blue Beetle? I have not. I kind of want to. I was told that it's actually pretty decent. Ooh. I think DC... I think DC's on a blacklist for a lot of Americans out there. If they're if they're giving Marvel a shit, I d- I guarantee they're not fucking seeing DC movies. I think they just canceled the Aquaman movie, didn't they? I have no idea. Oh, there goes Hulk. Oh. Oops. There he is. Yeah, he froze for a while. I don't know what happened. Oh. Uh, he's oh yeah. Okay. Uh, Listen, why didn't you just bring it up? Oh, I was gonna. You, okay. Talk about it. Have you seen it? Oh, I haven't finished it. I've only started watching it a little bit. But I think it's actually kind of good. Um, huh. Yeah, I've been told really good things about it. The actors are like actual teens, you know? And um, they had them all in the same booth. and kind of just like improv with the script so it seemed more natural that's pretty cool it it was pretty fun well that's like such like a that's a big move too because for you to like throw kids in a booth have them improv off of a script and then animate off of the improv that's wild Mm -hmm. yeah um but no, that I've heard like really good things about it. Like Donatello got molly That was cool. <laughs> What's you guys' favorite Ninja Turtle? Mm-hmm. Let's start with I have to look up. I don't remember. You're another names. Brought it up. I don't thing. remember the 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 color is associated with the name. There's Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo, and Michelangelo. I know the names uh... just. Honestly, the purple one, right? Yeah, Donatello's yeah, purple one. Donatello's my oh, favorite. Oh, then it's Donatello. Yeah. I think I like Michelangelo or Leonardo. My two favorite are uh, Donatello and uh, Leonardo. Everyone's a Michelangelo fan, I think. I like to be different. <laughs> They're making a video game based off of his, uh, his one-shot thing. So... There's a comic called The Last Ronin, and it's like where all the ninjas that's died Raphael. except that's yeah. Michelangelo. I'm pretty sure it's Raphael. You think about it. Like Michelangelo is the lightest hearted ninja turtle. Right. It's like he's gonna learn the most out of this experience when everybody's dead. Right, but I do think that they went with Raphael. I think okay. that Michelangelo would have been a cool choice, but I I, I swear they wouldn't look with- it up. No, no I'll, I'll look it up and I'll prove all you motherfuckers right. I thought it was already. Hey, I never, I never doubted you for a second, Kelly. Okay. Because <laughs> like, like in they, I don't know if was that movie they did the last Ronin? Because I remember like Michelangelo like learned like mad like magic or some shit. Um, as Michelangelo becoming the last Ronin turned out to be a perfect choice among the brothers. Oh. Like, that's how it is in the comics, too. Yeah, they're making a whole video game on it. Alright, well, that is pretty sick, then. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, that's cool. So, I thought what's it was the Raph? trend? I, I don't know why I thought it was... Like, I swear I heard it was Raph. That's weird. Um, like, Raphael's the hardest guy out of the group. Yeah. I saw, I, well, like, he was always, like, the I can do this alone. Like, I can do this alone, turtle. So like now, I I in my mind I was like now he now he has to do it alone. Mm. So like that would also be a cool one. I think it really would just be between those two, like Leo and Don. Like I I don't think anyone would like be like Donatello should be the last Ronin, you know like. Um, yeah, yeah. But the trends like for me have just been like the popcorn bucket popcorn bucket thing and now on top of that dual releases because of the popularity between oppenheimer and barbie movies are going to be doing that like crazy i think they're already doing something with saw and paw patrol and they're calling it uh saw patrol Patrol, yeah i mean i like it 
I like the idea mm-hmm. behind it because it's too competitive. It, they're not compa- competing at all. It's yeah. like Animal Crossing and Doom. It's like there's two separate audiences for it. Right. So they don't really need to fight on the same genre because, you know, I like it. Yeah. See, like, I, I do think that it's cool. Like, it's basically two movies lifting each other up together, even though they have nothing to do with each other. But, like, I don't know how I feel about it as, like, a trend altogether. Because, like, sometimes, like, one of these days, it's just going to be, like, a stinker. And actually, no, it's going to be Saw. Saw's going to be a stinker. Saw's going to fucking suck. I think I'd actually rather watch Paw Patrol. <laughs> okay. So. Paw Patrol will be, like, the next, um, what, what's that fucking good movie called? Good movie. <laughs> and say it. Uh, uh, Barbie? The next Kill Bill or something, right? Oh, uh, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like... I like the tchotchkes. If it's a movie that you're really excited for, I say why not with fucking popcorn trays and their little toppers. I like mine. I got the one from d and I'm fucking in love with it. Uh, something that I also wanted to bring up was that uh, Mattel, I think that's how you say it, the brand that actually makes Barbie, uh, because of the success of Barbie, uh, it has 14 other movies that they plan on doing about their yeah. other products. Yeah. Fuck no. Yeah, so, Lena Durnham is directing the new Polly Pocket movie, and everyone hates that bitch. Uh, it's actually... So they have... These, these are the 14. I'll list them right now. Uh, American Girl Doll. Okay. Try to figure that it. one out. Uh, oh, wow. I accidentally skipped like two of them. Barney. No. It's going to be like the Dora Explorer movie. This one says Christmas balloon. And the description says, if you're thinking I've never heard of this toy, that's because this movie isn't based on a specific toy. Don't. It's a true story that involved a little girl in a Mexican border. What? Trying to save her Christmas list to a helium balloon in the hope that it'll reach Santa. Okay, that one might be worth watching, honestly. <laughs> um, the next one, which I can actually see being a movie, probably about as good as Speed Racer, is uh, Hot Wheels. Um, this one is probably going to be like a horror movie, I'm assuming, which is Magic 8-Ball. Uh, you know, I think they're just like they're um it sounds good on paper but i don't think they'll have the same like lightning in a bottle that they did with barbie because barbie had a whole a whole lot of money involved with it do you think they're gonna put a fucking billions of dollars in the magic eight ball movie they they're banking it off the fact that barbie was successful um, if you I want to talk about something that Max, she, sorry, if you want to talk about something that actually has potential, think about the fucking Hasbro verse they're trying to put together with fucking Transformers and GI Joe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and like, um, like I said, like the only thing that I can see out of this list being like actually as successful is probably Hot Wheels, because there's still like crazy collectors not only of Hot Wheels, but like everyone grew up with Hot Wheels, like everyone knows Hot Wheels. And so, like, I see that one being successful, but that's about it. And they're banking it so much off of, like, because they released their most popular toy as a movie. And now they're expecting every other mediocre toy to do just as good. So, Barbie was in the right place at the right time with the right people involved behind the screens. So, the thing with Barbie is that, one, it was the trend. It was the memes. Barbenheimer, or up in Barbie or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, on top of it's Barbie. Everyone's every girl boss is going to go see Barbie and every every fucking soy jack is going to be every like Kensel. look it's Barbie. Yeah, and every Kensel. <laughs> and Ryan Gosling. And Ryan Gosling oh, on top of that. God. So like that's why Barbie was so um like what's the word I'm looking for? 
Fuck. Uh, not productive. What the fuck is the word I'm looking for? Successful. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Yeah, just that's why it was so successful is because of all those, like all those factors. Like even without the memes, Barbie would Barbie probably would have been a hit. Um, just based off of Barbie and Ryan Gosling alone. Um, Major Matt Mason apparently is like an astronaut toy. Masters of the Universe, which they've already done, like, a few times. Ooh, I would love to see that, but not with fucking Kevin Smith. The guy who was like, I don't know, he just, no. If they actually have He-Man in his, like, prime form, fighting fucking Skeletor. Oh, Kyle Allen has been cast as He-Man for this already. Kyle Allen? Yeah. Um, Let's see. He's a football player? I, I don't know, man. Oh. Oh, 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 I know who he is. He, he's, he's really fucking familiar. Very familiar. Um, what what was he in? What, what the fuck was he in? He was, um, he, okay, so the, Map of the Tiny Perfect Things. Have you seen that one? Nope. It's like the Groundhog Day movie. Was that him? Yeah, that was him, the guy. Oh. That's neat. Uh, yeah. Your choice. Number eight is Matchbox, which if you're making a Hot Wheels movie, why would you double down with Matchbox? Um, also, I had no idea that Matchbox... And Hot Wheels were owned by the same company. I thought they were contenders. What the fuck's Matchbox? You know what fucking Matchbox is? I'm pretty sure. If it's just Hot Wheels, I'm... I'm pretty sure. So, Hot Wheels had, like, the ramps and, like, all that all that cool shit. Oh, Matchbox yeah. was, like, the shit that you put on, like, the carpet. Like, they had, like, the carpets. Gotcha. I know what Matchbox are. I was a Hot Wheels kid, not a Matchbox kid. I had both. A Matchbox loser. <laughs> it's like Hot Wheels is like fast cars, and Matchbox is like, oh, here's my Toyota Ford. Geo's <laughs> a Hot Wheels kid right now. <laughs> oh, is that what you guys went to that show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so apparently, he went to like a monster truck show. That was neat as yeah. fuck. Yes, Hot Wheels monster truck. According to this description, apparently uh, they were compet. They- Sorry, I keep cutting out. Apparently they were competitors at one point, um, but the company bought uh, Matchbox, so I just have both of them. So, Holly Pocket is number nine, like he said. Uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Okay. So are they just planning movies for every single piece of their property? Not every piece. Uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. And every notable piece of property that they own, they're going to turn into a movie. Let me I'm ask you. For the Polly Pocket one. Now let me ask you, what do you think is the next movie? Like, off the top of your head, what like what random property do you think is the next movie? Polly Pocket. No, I mean mm-hmm. like I mean like on this list, like that I'm about to read to you. Oh. Uh, Bratz. Um, just Bratz. Bratz makes the most sense. Bratz would be cool. They have a Bratz movie, though. Um, Uno. Animated, though. Shut the what? fuck up. <laughs> yeah. That's Uno. not real. Uno movie. Where are you getting this list? I don't yeah. Know this so real. you can look up uh, 14 movie. movies based uh, on Mattel movies uh, in the works. Um, in the works. Yeah. So 13 is Viewmaster. Never fucking heard of that. The fucking the thing you put and then the you put the thing in no idea man i'll no. draw it out i don't know what the fuck no i know what master. you're talking about i have no idea if that's oh, what like the... where you click a button and it slides to the next picture yeah it's like a slideshow like it's it's the world's uh, first fun. vr 
Uh, Wishbone is the last one. Oh, you know the things that turkeys come with? <laughs> I like how you said, like, with that turkeys come with. Like, it's like an accessory. <laughs> right, it's just loose inside them already. <laughs> it's like a toy. <laughs> yeah. It's like a cereal box toy. Yeah. <laughs> but that's that's the list for you guys. Um Miles, that list is whack as fuck and not even half of those are going to see the light of day. I I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if um if magic eight ball was a thing. Fuck no. If they're creative with it, it I you got to get like enough dope, enough crack, enough fucking imagination to get this stuff fueled and ready. See, but like, I just don't know what the fuck they would do with Uno. The fuck are you supposed to do with Uno? If they did Polly Pocket, that'd be cool. No, but like, isn't Polly Pocket a miniature Barbie? It's like a miniature I Barbie. Mean, yeah. they, Unless they're gonna like mini- miniaturize her, and then she's like in, she's like in New York City. <laughs> she's like, I'm so tiny and small. I hope a dog doesn't pee on me. Type of thing. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Um, I like chewing on her clothes. Her clothes are so chewy. You know what? Same, actually. I was like... <laughs> what the fuck? With that orange coat of hers, I was like grinding my <laughs> teeth and poking holes in it. They're so chewy. Um, God damn. <laughs> um, we made a little squeak. <laughs> like Spongebob and the pickles? <laughs> A oh. tiny squeaky sound when you get two Polly Pocket clothes together. <laughs> I think that the only other movie that will see the light of day, in my opinion, is Hot Wheels. Like that's I think that one's up for sure. I think you're biased. I think Hot Wheels or Hot Wheels is not as popular as He Man. I think He Man is like He Man was maybe I'm biased made there. to sell toys. And He Man already has a bad rep because of the show, right? Because of the show right now. I just don't see them right. like doubling down on it unless i need to like keep the rights or something so i think they might need to do that (laughs) um what else we got boys kelly you're good at choosing topics why don't you do it um i'm curious about okay so two things i love cowboy bebop but pedophiles i don't know what we're going to be talking about Okay, so I wrote that down because in my head I was (laughs) I wrote that down because in my head in my head I was like why do all pedophiles look the same? What what is that? In so like yeah, basically like fat either fat fucking Jeffrey Dahmer ass glasses, weird ass mustache, fucking like they all look the same and they all breathe very heavily. Neck beard. Neck beard, yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> they they only like their waifu is very clearly a child. They're all or white they're too. Lo- they're into lollies. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? You with guys that? don't get it. She was a dragon reincarnated to a fourteen year old's body. She's actually a hundred years old. Right. It's supposed to be. Well, like, see, like, that's the thing is, like, fuck, like, if you, if you, okay, I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not condoning this. It's, it's just like, um, like, if you were as fucked up as you are, why would you make it that obvious? Like, you guys know, you guys have all seen that show, You. You guys love that show. You guys love that show. You never once put off the vibe, like, I kidnap and kill people and stalk them and stalk them. No, everyone always thought he was suspicious and he would always kill that person then. Towards the end of the season, I think, I... right? No, always. There was always someone thinking, he's kind of sus. Mm. Well, it was never the person he was stalking. No, yeah. No, because that person... Would become their friend and get you close. Yeah. 
That's what I'm saying, though. Like, if you're as fucked up as you are, like, why do you make it so easy for people to know you're fucked up? I mean, have you ever suspected that EDP was a pedophile before all this happened? He doesn't really fit the bill. If, okay, if he wasn't, okay, if he wasn't, like, used, like, in such mainstream memes, and if he wasn't, like, such a big YouTuber, absolutely. I, I, I could have, I could have. Well, I don't together. think they're all in the same group chat. I think a lot of them are, I think they do try not to give off that vibe, so they seem more trustworthy. We did talk about EDP last episode, and something that I uh, I know I mentioned before on the podcast, but uh, the first time that he got caught, um, one of the things about him texting the minor, or what he thought was a minor, I can't remember, uh, was that he would send like pictures of his shit. Like, he would just like take a shit, turn around, take a picture of it, send it. That was weird. That's Some weirder than have that. Hey. Yeah. Oh my god, I saw Velma's eyes <laughs> for a second. Hi, Dusty. Her eyes like shined. Oh, is she on the couch? Yeah, she's Peace on the couch. Peace yeah, Velma's right here. Velma. Hey, Dusty. Yeah. Um, Cowboy Bebop is no longer relevant, which sucks. But what would you like to talk about it? Dude, it's actually insanely relevant right now. How? Um, it's so. It better like, not be for that fucking Netflix show. It's not because of the Netflix show. Um, it's just like, like how we always say, like it's always on our feed. I've been getting so much Cowboy Bebop shit on my feed lately. It's insane. Like people like just like doing montages of Cowboy Bebop. People at work talking about how they love Cowboy Bebop. People with T-shirts. People with tattoos. Like Cowboy Bebop is wow. like actually such an awesome uh fucking anime to get to to get into anime it's so fucking good the yeah. movie is all hand drawn beautifully done Ugh, it's such a fucking good movie i love the show yeah. um it was really good and like i feel like um it's just one of those things that like should be like a staple but it's not like explicitly put down as like a staple like how like the big three and like uh Dragon Ball is. Like I feel like Cowboy Bebop should be like to the level of the big three just because of how influential it is. Yeah, if you walk into an anime anime store, you want more than an Ein plush. Yeah, exactly. You want more than a one t shirt they have flying around. You want fucking statues, you want modeled ships, and you want curvy figurines. Yeah. Get none of those. I mean, to be fair, th- with the curvy figurines, the only thing you're getting is fucking, uh, what's her fuck? Oh, you get Faye Valentine, you get Julia, you Who get the motherfucking... Who fuck cares about Julia? Come on. Who cares about Julia? I mean, that was the only fighting reason why Spike was... Like, alive? Doing it, living. Yeah. Simp? The fuck? Yeah, kind of simp behavior, but still. <laughs> like, crazy simp behavior. And she she died like a bitch. She, she died, died like, like she got gunned bitch. down. It was like the last episode. Like she died Dude. like a bitch. It's just uh, no. They they could have run away together, but no. They like she wasn't being smart about it. Let's all meet up in the same place where the bad guys are. Like she was in a fucking moon with Faye. Don't you think they'd be like, hey, Spike, get your ass over here because Julie is here right now. Well, they never talked to each other about anything because everyone was way too cool for emotions. I don't know. I just like I uh, loved the adventure when they had it. It was just real, and and like you said, they should have way more shit for it. I I I think they should. They have a lot of Evangelion stuff that was really influential, but as influential as Cowboy Bebop, not in my opinion. I not think it's mind. more f- influential in Japan. Japan is like, that's the yeah. biggest fucking anime there. Gundams are wild in Japan. Gundams are insane. They have the whole giant one. That's just, that's just insane. Which I'm uh, surprised I also... never saw that. Huh? I don't know if it was a thing yet. Well, there was also an anime coming out by the same creator as Cowboy Bebop, and 
It's going to be Cowboy Bebop-esque, like futuristic. It's called Lazarus. It's about like this doctor three years ago. He uh, he made like a fucking cure for everything, right? And everyone took it. But whoever took it, the doctor came back three years later. was like, hey, you guys are going to die in three years. Because this, like you need to find, like this cure has like send up a like, I don't know, you'll die if you take it. So like a band of like people who did take it are going to like go and find the cure or go find the guy who can do the cure. Kind of cool. It looks pretty neat so far. There's a trailer out for it. Um, shit. I totally had something else to say. Fuck. I went on her. Um, on. Alyssa, you choose a new uh, next topic. Um, Throw a dart at the board. Well, she has a couple run down. Oh, the best condiment? Mm, what? That's a good topic. Buffalo. Okay, <laughs> let's be realistic here. Cane sauce. He, he might be Spicy cooking. Spicy barbecue sauce. For everything? Yeah. Okay, let's be realistic. Hector might be on I'd, something there. I'd put spicy barbecue sauce on meat, on scrambled eggs, on a baked potato. I'd put it on mashed potatoes, even. You, you got, town sounds good. You got me mashed fucked potatoes up with the with egg that? thing. You got me fucked up with the egg thing. What's what's up with that? Oh, when I was younger and we didn't have ketchup in the house, my dad would put barbecue sauce on eggs. Why did you not I have ketchup in the house, but you had bar like well, were times that hard? Well, yeah, we would eat a lot of ketchup. We liked ketchup. Oh, I thought you meant like you couldn't afford ketchup, so you just got, no, like, so you just, got barbecue just run sauce. out. Just like one <laughs> ketchup, so you're like, that's that's good enough. No, but I think spicy barbecue sauce on eggs would slap harder than sweet. <laughs> there, Do you, I like, buy it already spicy, or is it like you yeah. put something in? Oh. Yeah, this is this brand. It's like Dave's famous. Yeah, famous Dave's, something like that. Oh yeah, famous Dave's. Yeah, I like that stuff actually. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty good. Um, um, Heinz 57 for everything. Love Heinz 57. Ketchup. Or signature sauce. Would you say? What? Ketchup. Oh, I think it's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like uh, a zesty ketchup. Oh, okay. It's like a steak sauce, but it's thicker. Everything? Oh my gosh. You like, have it with you dip greens? fries in it? Yes. It's so good. It comes in like a orangish bottle. I'll have to send yeah. it. I've only ever seen that shit in like expired in like a grandparents' fridge. Yeah, I didn't think anyone <laughs> actually bought this stuff. I didn't think anyone did. I mean. That was funny. Um, here <laughs> I put it in media so all y'all can can see. Thank you. It's a PNG, so you can put it in your hand. So you take a picture. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so high definition. Mm-hmm. High, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's really analyze this. Add zest to steak, chicken, and pork. It says nothing about... Wait. Marinate, grill, and dip. Okay. It's so, an everything size. You can wash your hair with it. <laughs> it's like a 12 in one. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat it on steak. You could wash your fucking ass with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. There's um a lot of people actually do 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 the uh Frank's hot. Like Soli told me that he puts that shit on everything, which is the fucking motherfucker. I hate those ads because you see like a guy trying to eat his hot dog and some dumb bitch pokes the wiener out from him. And she's like, gotta put a red hot Frank on it. Bitch, if you don't pick up that dog and put it back (laughs) in my bun. (laughs) Or some dog knocks like a wing out of some guy's hand. It's like, 
You gotta get the Frank, man. <laughs> the dog yeah, is fuck, sucking dude. the Frank. Yeah. I've never seen those ads in my life. <laughs> they piss me off, dude. All I know is the slogan is I put that shit on everything. I've never heard that. Right. Um, I'd it's... rather Tapatio. Fuck Red Hot. Um, whatever that Frank's is. Hot. Yeah. Frank's Hot. Yeah. I've been, I, I had it on my desk a second ago, so I had a burrito today. But I have uh, the Chipotle Tabasco. I love that stuff. It's smoky. Uh, as far, okay, as far as what I put on, like, a hot dog, oh, this is on to something. At the, the spicy barbecue, and then I put just a little mm. bit of mayo. Bussin. Bussin, bussin. Especially for a brat. Bussin, bussin, bussin. Mayo, ketchup, relish. Ah, uh, that's too classic. We, we, we do the spicy barbecue awesome. and we do some mayo. Awesome. Mm-hmm. awesome. I think you liked relish. Oh, I love relish. You haven't relished that. You haven't relished the idea. Boo. Fuck that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you, we have a soundboard. Use it. <laughs> you blow it! Yeah. <laughs> there you go. But I, I honestly like. I was really thinking about like the cane sauce, so- like the cane sauce, like after Hector mentioned it, and I was like, "Oh my god, dude, I'd have that on everything." I'd That's like that the god's everything. nectar. Seriously. Oh my god. I don't think gosh. you should really count it because like you can't buy it at the store. If someone gave me like a raw rabbit heart to eat. I would dip it in cane sauce and slurp it down. It's like Absolutely. come out with like a fistful of the sauce. If you think of me a fistful of rabbit hearts, I would just like. You guys ever had anything crazy like that? Like a rabbit heart? No. I ate ants. And oh, maybe a piece of cockroach. I I accidentally baked ants into cookies and I was eating those cookies. I had like 12 cookies made. I had six of them before I realized, what are these black specks in them? I thought they were spices, but they were ants. How how does that even happen? How? I was like, I'm going to make cookies for myself. And I made cookies and I was like, all right. You're not um, explaining how ants could possibly have gotten in their cookies. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was like backwards. <laughs> so we would be gone for like, say, five days, right? And then we'd see a long ass stream of ants getting into our pantry. And I guess uh-huh. one of the bags was open. But for the cockroaches, we went to a place in Hawaii and it was like a mom pa like breakfast place. So I sliced open pancake and I had like some of the center. And the center had a cockroach in it. I think I had some of the ten- an antenna or legs. Oh. I would have thrown up right then and there. Right did you like? There. Did you send it back or did you eat around it? Oh, I didn't eat it at all. After I saw that, I was like, I looked at it blankly. And I was like, uh, "Mom, Dad, look what's in my fucking food." <laughs> we didn't like leave right afterwards either. I was like. <laughs> Like, oh, everyone's yeah. like, oh, well, that's not it. our shit, so I'm gonna just keep on eating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you. I guess. Good luck. Yeah, get the boy some chicken tenders. <laughs> I had I had duck not too while ago. Duck, duck is, is pretty good. good. Yeah, duck is good. Duck is, I was like, ducks are assholes, so I'll eat duck all day. <laughs> duck egg is better than chicken eggs. I don't know how to explain it. Um, <laughs> ooh, uh, I've had alligator. That's I've had good. alligator. I've had buffalo. I don't like either. Frog legs. No. Just chicken. Just chicken nuggets. Yum. Uh, otherwise, like, other than that, it's probably just, like, seafood. Like, seafood stuff. Like, stuff that people don't really talk about. Like, eel. Eel's fucking delicious. Eel's amazing. Hmm. Yeah. I'll never eat a crawdad, though. What? I'll never eat a crawdad. Because, like, every time I've seen it, it looks like people are, like, sucking out everything. Like, the tail. Oh. You're just eating, like, the head and shit. Like, I'm good. Mm. Mm. It just, it's just like a lobster. You just take off the tail and eat the tail. Yeah. 
Well, I've never had one, so next time we go somewhere, feed it to me. And make sure you do the airplane noise, too. Like the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they hit the second tower! <laughs> <laughs> too soon. It was yesterday. Yeah, was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday was Titan's birthday. <laughs> the fuck, really? Happy birthday, Titan. Let's go, Titan. You picked a good day to be birthed. Dude, no one, like, talked about 9-11 at all. Other than, like, for the memes <laughs> yesterday. No Jesse one... did. Jesse's not remembering 9-11, though. Like, he's, <laughs> he's just like, he's like, dude, they totally fucking killed all those people. Like, all those people. All those people are dead. My, my, my family traumatized. Me, I'm doing great. Like... <laughs> yeah, because he was born, like... 2000. Two years before. 2000? Yeah, yeah, a year before. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Yeah. People are saying something about, like, another building that was involved, or wasn't even involved, but still mm -hmm. fell completely down to the ground. There's the Pentagon that got hit. Mm -hmm. The Pentagon. fucking Pentagon! Um, there's a lot of theories with 9-11. Oh, yeah. Many. A lot of Mesh. theories. <laughs> Makes yeah. a bit more sense than what actually said happened. A I mean, little bit, a little fancy, tiny bit, you know. Man, I don't fucking know. I'm not about to dive into 9/11 shit. I, you don't want. What I will dive into. Really landed on you, the moon. I was gonna ask you that. Do you guys believe we landed on the moon? Do you no. guys believe it was real? No. No. Give me your fucking redneck explanation as to why. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> um. So during the space race, it was like high competitive. We were like an high. Uh, we were competitive with Russia, right? And Russia already did their experiments because they were giving out reports saying like, "Hey, we uh, we were going at this velocity, but we couldn't because we were going too fast." Like they had the rockets to like go into space, but it was going too fast for them, and they were like breaking out, and their faces turning fucking beet red from the velocity, so they had to cancel. And I think like not not soon after, America was like, "Yeah, we're on the moon." Everything's fine. Everyone survived. Our I mean, flags on here, bitches. There's a whole and then they, lot of like... so they survived to the moon. Did their shit. Complete hundred percent success. First, first time. It was not Everyone first lived. Time. I know that's not first time, but like people going to the moon. Well, that survived. was the goal. Though. And then they going had back. like so many calculations. That was the goal, but that our was... shit was failing. <laughs> And so then, like, like we had, we just we had to win. So it's like. So what you're saying is, is like you would have believed we'd been, you would have believed we'd been to the moon if someone, if sorry, I keep cutting out. Fuck, you would have believed that we have been to the moon if the first people who tried to go to the moon died. I wouldn't necessarily believe that. I just believe that there would. It just makes a bit more sense that we've sort of orchestrated it at for the time being just to win against Russia. There's a lot of theories that the guy who made The Shining directed that whole thing. And there's a bunch of other stuff with like interviewing the astronauts afterwards. And oh, they were like, <laughs> they're like getting real angry and real upset and like getting real like uppity. And it's like, fuck you, get the fuck out of my house. How dare they're kicking him out. Like, physically kicking. Like, I mean, I would be pissed if I went to the moon and no one believed me. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be pretty pissed about that, yeah. Like, like a couple people don't believe you? What do you mean a couple? You are oh, one of a lot of fucking rednecks. Yeah, it, it's me and the whole Reddit page I follow. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking, you're um, fucking tinfoil hats. Me like, the aliens killed Kennedy. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother oh my bag god. of cats with the fucking, oh with the god. Kennedys. Whew. Um... I feel I like we've been. To the I moon. feel it's somewhat orchestrated for me. Like y'all can believe in God, but I can believe in the fucking moon landing was fake at the time. <laughs> and then they broadcasted that shit. How it's, the fuck do they broadcast that in 1969? It's... The wires can't be long enough.
<laughs> I don't even like have words to convey like my disappointment. In me? Like, yes. Can't you like use a telescope to like actually see the flag on the moon? I don't know. Probably. I don't know if there was one back then good enough. Well, I'm Definitely pretty sure. Definitely one now. Oh, absolutely now. I think they oh, have. I don't even know if it's even on this side of the moon. I think it's, um, okay. So what I think I heard was that since like, I don't even know what the fucking science is, but I think the flag just kind of stays completely still, like just straight out. Like it doesn't like wave or anything like that. It doesn't wave There's or anything no like that. There's no wind. On top of that, I think it's just blank now. Like, it's just a white flag. Like, completely was... faded. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I don't know what the science behind that, the blank part is, but apparently that's what happened to it. The blank flag? Yeah. It's closer to the sun, and it's been there since the 60s. Oh, like it bleached? I guess that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well, see, and I'll make your claim. I'm helping your... <laughs> <laughs> this is what they do. They don't believe in it, and then they have so many supporting facts for <laughs> why it could have happened. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's like, there's a lot of things that went right, and the Russians were like, right behind him in the space race. So they just like, oh, but they skipped like two fucking steps. They skipped like 40 fucking steps. They didn't and- skip jack nor shit there's there there's a lot of documentaries like uh what's that one the help it might just be called the help I be that wrong. wasn't even about the fucking <laughs> that wasn't even about that well it's the one with the african-american uh woman the african-american mathematician who like helped with all the That's calculations not the help well, I <laughs> forgot what the name of it was. It was like, I don't know. Both I think of them. it's a lady from The Help. Yeah, I um, think one of them is from The Help. I forgot what the see. name it's called. Help cast. It was... Viola Davis was in it, maybe? She's in a lot of shit. I don't think she was even in it. You know what I'm talking about, though. I do. Yeah, there's it, it's so much went into the moon landing. Like it's not like we just did it overnight. It was a ra- It was a race, but there was countless fails. There was countless preparations. There was countless calculations, and like there was deadlines. Like it was an every day was like a new board. Like. I don't think I feel like we went to I I think we went to the moon. Okay. What do you think, Hawk? You look you look a little bit suspicious. Yeah. Like I think it's hard to believe that back then we did. Maybe in today's time, but they're not even trying right now, right? No, I think we're more focused on Mars. We already have. But why are we focused on Mars if so many people are so unsure about the moon. I don't know, man. What's what's the moon got? It's Flag. just a, a rock. It's it's. I mean, it could have elements that are like harder to find here. I think there's like cheese. Oh well, no, cheese. Cheese. <laughs> I um. Well, no, the moon wouldn't have anything like. I don't think anything like um exclusive to itself because isn't the moon like a chunk of earth no do you think the moon is a chunk of earth i swear because like okay it's like isn't asteroid the moon, like, yeah wasn't the moon like like the remnants that fell off the earth whenever when everything was like molten molten and like settling like wasn't that like one of the things that crashed into earth crashed in and through earth and formed its own mass and became Earth's moon. I don't think so. That, that sounds. Then where's the crater? Then where's the crater that hit Grand Earth? Canyon? Or or she had a trench? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Motherfucker. Where? 
to I just saw this uh, video of someone's theory about the moon that like like it's weird how Earth only has one moon and other planets have multiple. Mm-hmm. And they think that um to help like either save or sustain life on our planet, aliens placed the moon in our orbit so that we could have like the tides and stuff. Really out of nowhere, but <laughs> some people say that your mood is affected by the uh your mood is affected by the moon. The just Saturn because like Saturn energy is fucking up right. my day. Like Bro, it's a full moon. Sure people great. are pissy. You tremble in <laughs> I gave a little diagram to show you guys. The the thing was called Theana? Thea? 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 Thea. Crash Thea. Yeah. yeah. Ah, uh, this yeah. is pretty hard to believe. I don't know how it's hard to believe. I think, like, I'm like, pretty God sure God would just make it, right? <laughs> God just, like, snapped in the wheel, didn't they? Like, I think God gave me my PlayStation when I asked him. Yeah, just like Santa. God is Santa. Yeah. God is Santa. One's if, like, God wanted to be, like... Like, he made a second coming, right? He made, like, a, a second Jesus, but it was actually Santa. second Jesus. Now that's a theory. Now that's a, a tinfoil game theory. theory. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is that so hard to believe, Hunk? I feel like that's, like, in science class, I feel like that's how they tell you how a lot of moons are formed. Okay, in this diagram, so, after the impact, all the debris goes into a ring a ring just like in saturn right and then magically all the debris compacts into a moon that's not how i remember it being explained i remember it being like a massive asteroid like in that debris and then the debris like crashes on the asteroid forming a sphere because of gravitational pull or something like everything just smacks together on that asteroid, and now it's a it's its own moon. Hmm. How's everything just smacking together over time? Well, there's other moons and other planets, so they all did the same thing. Yeah, I don't I don't think things smack together. Things break apart. Things aren't gonna like form just from nothing. Like they would have to have a dense and a mass to like create that gravitational pull. Hector, we told you it's what? God. It's okay. No, it's Santa. It God doesn't um, matter. Nearly all the Earth and Thea melted and reformed as one body with a small part of the new mass spinning. So, so part of that meteor melted into Earth and right. then the rest of it was spin off and then became the moon in our orbit. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. That's why I said that I don't think there's anything like super unique unique to the moon that isn't on Earth. Because it's part of the fucking Earth. We could be seeing things like unique to the moon, just things that are like not as abundant here on Earth, we might be able to find up there. I there's nothing. (laughs) I think I think the Mar- I think Mars would be more beneficial to look into than the moon. Yeah. Mars has shown, like, signs of life, like, previous life. And I, 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 our moon is just our moon. Everybody has a moon. Well, some moons have uh, grass and stuff on it. Really? Well, yeah, I think there's, like, a moon, like, light years away. And it's, like, got some form of life on it. I That's think. fucking sick. I think That's Europa a has way bigger Europa news. has water in it. Europa, moon of Jupiter. That should um, be way bigger news. Six planet. Um. Let's see what some facts are about it. Europa's icy crust gives it an al- albedo, light reflectancy, yada yada. 
It's the highest of all moons on the solar system. I thought it was like full of well, it's icy, so I don't know, man. Huh. Oh, you know what? Um I just learned this fun fact. We're, we're probably gonna be rapping here in a sec. But fun fact, did you guys know that a if you ha if you have a telescope that can see far enough, you can actually see back in time. So we've like, talked about this before. Oh, we have? Okay. I thought that, that was I thought that, that was really like fun. interstellar? We're not talking about oh. Interstellar. Hey, you can watch I, Interstellar on Prime now. Or I saw it. Interstellar is a good fucking movie. I didn't watch okay. it, but I saw like someone breaking it down. Or I saw a couple watching a, uh, the movie on YouTube. And I was like, it's a really good movie. It's got a good ending to it, too. Mm -hmm. It's good, yeah. Oh my we God. love Matthew McConaughey. Oh. That was a good... I liked it when she was like, Eureka! And then threw the papers. I was like, that's, that's really cool. I'm and it gonna, wasn't hopeless. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Um, but you the, need to explain, like, why why can you see into the past? So um, apparently, like, uh, so light uh, traveling needs to like be perceived, and like at that far away, light still hasn't um, like how do I fuck do I explain this? light <laughs> i don't know um it's at the rate that light travels so like if you have if you have a telescope that sees far enough you can see the light still traveling from like what would be what would have been the big bang like the big bang if that makes sense oh right because the light like is just now hitting us from like thousands and thousands, and thousands yeah thousands. exactly yeah yeah that's neat yeah Science. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. That's that's scary though, because like Interstellar, like your daughter's like seventy years old. Yeah. Because you can still you can be like on Mars, and then the rate of fucking time moves faster on Earth. Is that crazy. It is, like a, it is like an interesting thing. Like I wonder how long. I'm so. It looks like Hector and uh, Alyssa want to rap. No, no. You're good. You're, good. You're like. <sighs> oh my fucking god! Please. I like the idea of it. It's. I, neat. This is a fun tangent. We're talking about the fucking solar system, the great unknown. Um, fuck. What was it? Were we even talking about that? I, I had a whole thing to say about it. You said daughter. All right. You said daughter. Yeah, so like in Interstellar, he aged like he was in some other fucking dimension or something, right, right, some right. other planet. So this was he went, a black hole. he went through a black hole. So what um, I was gonna say is like, how long are astronauts actually in space? You know, like if they're in our orbit, they're on the same time frame. Like they're not missing years. Actually, time think. isn't real. So well, time's a construct by us. But if you went to Mars for five minutes, would ten minutes have passed on Earth? Like if you set a timer on Mars on Mars for five minutes, would ten minutes pass on Earth? Mm. Yeah, since it's like closer to the center, you would think it would move faster. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not, not a it. fucking physicist. <laughs> see, like, see, like, see, like, I don't know. It's like it's twenty four <laughs> hours and thirty seven minutes. Faster, faster um, ahead. It's. I don't know. Ahead? Slower. Longer longer than a day on Earth. Okay. That's all it says. So it has like 48 hour days. Interesting. Okay. okay. It's just no, it's just it's just 40 minutes <laughs> Thank longer you. than a day. <laughs> Thank you. It's just 40 minutes longer of a day. <laughs> 
40 I'm fucking minutes long, on, dude. Yeah, because we have 24 hours in the day. Oh, the fuck and it's brownie 24 time. 24 hours up. and 37 minutes. So. <laughs> mm, it's so that's embarrassing. That's just with their, like, the, the sun cycle. Right? But that's not, like, how time itself is working. I mean, I think that's what you're supposed to base it off of, though. Because, like, if we're traveling, then we're going off of Earth time. We're going off of Earth time for everything. That's the base. So like, but if you're okay, so it's like time zones. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, because the distance is between it. Yeah. I thought so. You were asking like, if like so, if someone on Earth and someone on Mars start a stopwatch at the exact same time, like you're asking, would it be like the same rate? You know what? Oh dear God, we're okay. <laughs> this will be the last thing that I say about this. It'll be the last thing. I promise. It'll be the last you, thing. You no, know, I don't think it would. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. And I can tell you why. It's because of the light thing. So, like, if you, like you said, the telescope and perceiving light and like how, like how that shit works. So, if <laughs> it's awful, if nine eleven was happening, if nine eleven was happening on Earth. Don't think Mars would. Per- they'd either perceive that like <laughs> forever ago, or they wouldn't have perceived it until like now. Honk just clutched his pearls. Why'd you bring up nine eleven? <laughs> <laughs> what the f- f- do you mean, <laughs> dude? What? Because of like light perceiving. So like, if you went to a different planet. Like, further away, like, if you went to fucking Pluto and used that telescope on Earth, you'd probably still see the goddamn dinosaurs or some or, or some shit, maybe. No, we're still in the same solar system. I don't, That's not nearly far enough, I think. Like, maybe you're right. for that time variation with the light, it's gotta be galaxies away. Okay, well, we're gonna end it right there. <laughs> we're, we're we're jumping into it too much. Uh, we need a anything? scientist. We're not yeah. at all qualified. Like, wow. Yeah, we this. we should like get like uh, Neil deGrasse on the fucking show. That'd be fucking awesome, mm-hmm. dude. That'd be so cool. Can you imagine if we asked him about like foreskins, like dinos- dude, dinosaur foreskins? That'd be nuts. What? Yeah. Why? Why? What if we just asked Neil deGrasse Titan, like, how hung a dinosaur was? I bet they would, like, shrink into their bodies, wouldn't they? Like a dog dick? Anyways, um... Oh, I'm the weird one. I'm the fucking weird one. <laughs> Fuck you. No, I'm just saying, like, that's a whole other topic. Do you guys want to say anything else? I don't know. Mm-mm. Oh, we're all good. Mm-hmm. Good. Cool. Let's wrap. Alrighty, thank you guys for listening to this amazing episode of the Camping Buddies podcast. Um, go ahead and listen to us on Spotify, YouTube, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, um, and share with your friends and watch our streams. Bye.